Most people think that eating disorders are a white, female, middle class problem. And so no one really specializes in, no one really specializes in the uh, conversation that happens that I think we can all relate to when you go home to your family's house and the first thing they say, the first word that's, that come out of their mouths are, Either have you eaten, mm -hmm. you've gained weight, or you lost weight. Oh my yeah. God. Not how are you? <laughs> Not how are you? Not how was your day? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like, it like it's that. Like and that. then, yeah. and then, let's eat. Yeah. Right? And so you're left feeling like, oh, I'm either too skinny, so let's overeat, yeah. or I'm too fat and I shouldn't be eating this, but you're going to make me, you know? And so there's this struggle of not being able to talk to your family about what's really going on. And that was something that I, I definitely had a lot of issues with, and I had to write a whole blog <laughs> to be able to get to talk to my parents and to my parents about like, it. <laughs> yeah, the whole Asian experience is exactly what it it's is. It's a yeah. unique thing that I think uh, we have to deal with, and we're not alone in it. I was, I was really fat in high school. I was 250 in high school. And um, yeah, my, my mom would always be like, you have to be careful about diabetes. It runs in the family. You, have, you want some chocolate? Yeah. And just yeah. start feeding me That's cookies. And I'm like, you were just <laughs> telling me that I have to be careful. Uh, or that your aunt will be mad at you if oh you don't my, eat her special. Exactly, whatever. exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tell her it's good. Did you ever have a conversation with her about that? No, you know, I was always kind of like a chubby kid anyway, mm -hmm. and I do love food. I'm a huge foodie, so I've had to like sort of uh, um, just be careful about, you know, just overeating and stuff like that. But, you know, I never really made a correlation between the whole Asian thing, but that's so true. I never thought of it that way and until also, you mentioned it. And it's also, you know, something that I think, you know, us as performers, as actors, being, having our bodies be our instrument. Yeah. Um, <laughs> of how we... Or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like something that. like that. But, um, <laughs> but, you know, like what characters we play are affected by what mm -hmm. we eat, and then you have craft service, and then yeah. you're expected, yeah. especially as Asian American women, to look a certain size, and a yeah. certain, you know, because we don't have examples and role models of people of different sizes. I mean, we have so few parts to begin with. Right. But <laughs> the parts well, that exist... Being, being gay as well, it's like, you know, like a lot of... Um, uh, like e eating disorders, like the, the diagnosed eating disorders in young gay men is very prevalent. Almost, That's what I've heard. Yeah. Almost, mo all, uh, almost more than um, than white women. Actually. Really? Yeah, because there's such a pressure to be thin and muscular and, and all that stuff. What about you growing up? Did you have any encounters with this topic? Or? Yeah, I was actually, I was a really skinny kid growing up and my brother was always muscular and athletic. And um, I remember as a kid, my aunts and uncles would always tell me that I was too skinny. That would be the first thing out of their mouth whenever I'd see them for the first time in you know a couple months. Um, and it, I was always very self-conscious about that, about being mm -hmm. scrawny. And even to this day, I mean, sometimes I, I'm hard on myself because I'm like, oh, you know, you're you're looking too thin today. You're not you're just not taking care of yourself. So it's really it, it, it works on both sides of the spectrum, I think. Have, have you had any conversations with your parents about this? Uh, my dad actually used to stick up for me a lot. He'd always mm. look at my uncle and say, you know, he's fine. There's there's nothing wrong with him. He's not too skinny. He's healthy. Um, and it was great. I mean, I it was it never came from my parents. Um, but yeah, there's a lot on the Asian American side of my family that um, they always were trying to feed me <laughs> as if I was like starving and, and coming out of, you know, a long winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or they call you for the first time in a while and the first thing they say is, have you had dinner yet? Right. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. My mom always asks me. She's always like, did you eat today? What'd you eat? Yeah, they have, they have to know what <laughs> What is it exactly? It's exactly. fine. I ate a salad. Yeah. <laughs> what was in the salad? What was in the salad? Details. Details. Uh -huh. Any details. A hamburger, for sure. <laughs> it was a burger salad. A cheeseburger salad. hidden yeah, exactly. in the salad. Yeah. The salad <laughs> just covered in greens. Yeah. <laughs>